Hi, I'm Rock and I'm a tour guide and I'll show you popular local food and best shopping in Ljubljana, Slovenia. I'll go to legit street food places to show you food you have to taste if you're in Ljubljana. Then I'll show you where you can do the best shopping in Ljubljana and crazy souvenirs you can buy. But before we begin, please give that like button a quick tap. It takes just a split of a second and it helps me a lot. Thank you so much for your like. Now let's do some eating and shopping in Ljubljana. You have to taste burek. Burek is the most common fast food in Ljubljana and burek places can be found almost everywhere. Originally, burek was a Turkish dish that came to Bosnia with the spread of Ottoman Empire. After the Second World War, when Bosnia and Slovenia were part of the same country called Yugoslavia, Bosnian version of burek found its way to Ljubljana. Now, let's find a bench and eat burek. Burek is baked filled pastry made of thin flaky dough filled either with meat or cottage cheese or vegetables. But for some reason in Ljubljana, special version of burek became very popular. It's called pizza burek and it contains ham, mushrooms and tomato sauce and is spiced with Mediterranean oregano. I know it sounds kind of weird, pizza burek, but you should taste it as somehow it just works. If you're after typical Slovenian dishes, then you have to taste krajenska klobasa or carniolan sausage. Slovenians are very proud of this sausage and they have even taken it around the world and even in the space by US astronaut of Slovenian descent, Sunita Williams. Normally you can find this sausage on the menu of most Ljubljana restaurants, but this small place called Klobasarna has turned it into a fast food. It is located in the old town opposite to the cathedral. If you don't eat meat, this place also offers strukli, another typical Slovene dish composed of dough with various types of filling. The most common filling is cottage cheese. Here I got three different fillings cottage cheese, walnuts and tarragon. The dish comes in the form of cooked rolls that has been traditionally reserved for special occasions but has become part of everyday Slovenian cuisine. You have to taste horse burger. Burgers are experiencing a big revival in Ljubljana as new, trendy burger places keep on popping up. But Horst Burger is the original Ljubljana burger place that has been around for decades. It was invented in 1990s by a young local butcher that got fed up with burek being the only fast food option for young people on their night out. You can get Horst Burger in one of four hot horse restaurants around the city. The closest hot horse place to the city center is this one in Park Tivoli. As the name suggests, horse burger is made of horse meat that is supposed to be healthier than beef as it has less fat and more iron. Almost all ingredients, including horse meat, are of local origin. Every customer can select all extras for his burger. For my burger, I selected mayonnaise, mustard, nacho cheese, some lettuce and tomato. And by the way, as you can see, Horus Burger is pretty big burger, so it will feed you for a while. Shopping in Ljubljana can be beautiful and historic experience. On Prešeren Square, just a few steps from the Triple Bridge, you'll find this beautiful Art Nouveau palace from 1903. It was designed as a department store and it is still in use as a shop. 
This is one of the most beautiful fashion brand shop in Ljubljana and it is as impressive on the outside as it is on the inside. If you walk in, you'll be greeted by impressive staircase with beautiful banister that leads to three floors of high-end shops. Even if you can't afford to shop in there, it's worth going in and have a look. Ljubljana Old Town offers a beautiful shopping experience. A stroll on the main cobble street of the Old Town that gently curves around the castle hill is full of beautiful small shops and boutiques. Famous international brands and small local businesses offer fashion, jewelry, perfumes, authentic local products and souvenirs. Shops mix with different coffee places and restaurants where you can relax and rest. All the history and architecture around the shops help to create overall nice and pleasant experience. Old Town is also the best place for souvenir shopping as it has several dedicated souvenir shops. If you're interested, I'll put the list of Ljubljana's souvenir shops in the description below the video. Now, let's go in to find some souvenirs! Central Market is located between Castle Hill and River. An open-air market spreads over two squares where you can find fresh fruits, vegetables and flowers grown by local farmers. There are also two covered markets. First one is in there, in the ground floor of that big palace, while the fish market is in this beautiful two-story market hall with colonnade at the river designed by Ljubljana's famous architect Plechnik. There you'll also find bars, small restaurants and souvenirs. If you're in Ljubljana, you have to sit and relax in one of its many coffee places. Ljubljana is famous for its coffee culture that has turned the city into a giant living room. Here people like to sit and talk to each other while enjoying their coffee. After all the food and shopping, I think I'll treat myself with a nice cup of coffee here. Thank you for exploring streets of Ljubljana with me. If you don't know much about Ljubljana, then you should check my video Is Ljubljana worth visiting in the top corner? If you like this video, give it thumbs up. If you have any questions, ideas, suggestions or even your own experience about Ljubljana, please share it in the comment section below. And please, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. This way, you'll be notified every time I post a new travel video. Now I'm off to that coffee, so thanks for watching and see you next time!